What's up guys, Paul here for Tech Free TV. Hope you're doing well. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sync your audio using Cyberlink PowerDirector 13. So first off, open up Cyberlink. I've already dropped the video track in here and all I'm going to do is use my external audio source and bring that into the audio track here as well. I use the free clap rule. So as you can see here, you've got the three peaks. So what I'm going to do is just bring this down a little bit more just to reduce the size and I'm going to split and then select this section and I'm going to delete it. So I'm moving leaf gap. Okay, so what I'll do is just drag this down a little bit more. So this is the audio and the video which are obviously attached together. If you go up to here to this sort of timeline here, you can scroll to the right and then that's obviously just going to increase the size, make it a little bit bigger so it's a bit easier for you to see. So now you can see there they are and they're slightly offset. So what I'll do is I'll move the video along a little bit just until I can get them near enough level. So I'll move this yellow line along just to see how that looks between the two. Now that doesn't look too bad. I might just pinch that just a little bit more. Back that one up a bit. There you go, that doesn't look too bad. So what we're gonna do is play it and see how that sounds. Make sure you select movie, so it's gonna run all the way through and click play. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. One's not sort of playing in front of the other, or you're not hearing like an echo kind of sound. Just one more time, I'm just gonna play that again just to make sure it sounds okay. Yep, I'm happy with that. On a set of headphones, it does sound a lot clearer as well um, when you're listening back to it. So now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is highlight the video and audio track, right click it, and then select unlink video and audio. So now what that's done is made this two separate tracks. So if I highlight the audio here, you notice that moves on its own. So I'm gonna delete that track. Okay, so now what I wanna do is move this line to the end of the audio track that's at the bottom. So now I know if I'm moving this around I'm always going to get it in the right place because I'll just butt it up to here. Okay, so now what you want to do is control and select the two together, right click, link video and audio. Okay, so now what that's going to do is going to link the two together. So if I move one, both of them are going to move together at the same time. Um, and then you'll find that if I come back to say here and movie and then play. Welcome back, so here we are. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you sync your audio using PowerDirector 13. Any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.